Good day, one more fly squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip report. My name is Jaden. Mum and I were at Sydney Terminal One. Today we're going to fly Cafe Pacific Triple Seven in first class from here to Hong Kong. So first class seat, but business class service. I'll explain that later. And then we've got about four hours in Hong Kong. Then we're going to catch Cafe A350 to Osaka in their business class. So now, without further ado, let's check in all the way for Osaka. This trip was only made possible by Six Foot Four. He's driving me and my mum from the city to the airport. We just made it to Terminal One. We're gonna check in with Cafe. Our flight to Hong Kong CX100, the flagship flight, is operated by a four-class Boeing 777-300ER. However, on Australian flights, Cafe don't sell first class. So what they do is that they sell the first class seats they've got on the 777 as business class seats. There are six of those seats available on the 777, and they give them out to Cafe Diamond and Gold members, as well as One World Emerald and Sapphire members. It is worth asking the customer care in advance to secure those first class seats. My mum is One World Emerald member, and I'm One World Sapphire. We both purchased business class seats, and we got upgraded to first class free of charge. But keep in mind. It's just going to be the first class seats. You're still going to receive business class standards like business class baggage allowance, business class lounge, and business class meals. When you fly Cafe from Sydney Airport, your lounge options are the Qantas business and first class lounges, as well as the house by Aspire. Mum's got one more Emerald, so we could use the first class lounge. We both haven't been to the house, so we'll check that out later. The entrance to the Qantas International First Class Lounge is lovely. The plants on the wall—they're all real. Here's the lunch menu. Do pause if you need to. There's no buffet here. It's all à la carte. For next week's trip report, I'm uploading China Airlines A350 Premium Economy from Taipei to Melbourne. So do subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss out. Lunch today was absolutely delicious. I liked everything. My favorite would have been the plant-based beef noodle. This year, I uploaded several China Eastern, Cafe, Qantas, Jetstar, and United Airlines trip reports. Everything you're seeing, I've done them. So be sure to check out my reviews on those airlines in my channel. We just left the Qantas lounge. We're now going to head to the house. Cafe Silver members get lounge access when they fly with Cafe. At Sydney Airport. You don't get access to the Qantas lounges, but the house instead. The lounge is currently hustling and bustling. The first class lounge was a lot better. We didn't regret coming here though, because we haven't been here before, and we did want to check it out. Now I haven't been to the Qantas business lounge at Sydney Airport. But according to my viewers, this is much better than the Qantas Business Lounge. There were actually some people who just came here from the Qantas Business Lounge. They used their credit card or Priority Pass to get in. Food here is quite decent, and you've also got a bar with barista-made coffee. The only major downside of the lounge is the crowd. It's just way too busy. This A380 is going to be QF1 flying to Singapore and London Heathrow. That cafe is our aircraft. 
delivered to Cathay in 2007. It's a 16-year-old Boeing 777-300ER Bravo Kilo Papa Echo. Our flight today to Hong Kong is really full. There's already a queue forming. Unlike Hong Kong Airport, there's no one World Emerald boarding lane here, but there's still priority queue for business class and premium economy. Thank you. There was a short 10 minute delay to boarding just now, and I appreciate how the ground staff let us know through the announcement. Furthermore, a couple of the staff walked down the queue and reassured us we'll be boarding soon. In contrast to my recent Singapore Airlines experience, Cathay did really well. First class on 777 is laid out in a 111 configuration. There are two rows, so in total there are six seats. I'm at 2K today, my mum is at 2D. We share the aisle together, with the passengers at 1D and 1K. The passengers on the left-hand side, 1A and 2A, have their very own aisle. So we got pillows that are actually for first class because the business class pillows and blankets are too small for the first class suite. The Bamford amenity kit is business class standard and so is this menu and the food we get later. Every first class seat has a wardrobe and luggage compartment here you can store bags, plenty of leg room. You can also store bags underneath the ottoman. My Cafe first class. <laughs> more. We're given both headphones, which is first class standards. I was told by the cabin crew usually they put flour here, but due to quarantine reasons they've stopped it. The sea is really wide, I can stretch my arm. Cafe in-flight entertainment is rated among the world's best. You get plenty of movies and TV shows to choose from. Unfortunately, on Boeing 777, you don't get live TV like BBC and CNN. On this aircraft, there are two external cameras. Wi-Fi is available at a charge, even in business class. In real first class, it's free of charge.
This was a salmon dish. It was given before the appetizer and main course. It was really refreshing. The starter today was excellent, both the prawns and duck salad were unique and delicious. Duck was super tender. After starter, we had to wait about half an hour for our main course. That's because the flight is super busy and our crew had to look after the passengers in business class as well. On a full flight, there are 6 first class passengers and 53 business class passengers. Compared to other airlines with the same aircraft type, Boeing 777-300ER, Cathay is well known for having fewer cabin crew than other airlines, so that's a problem as well. Do you like some chili sauce? Uh, no, thank you. No. For main course, on the menu you've got five options, including this beef noodle and duck confit. The other options are Middle Eastern pumpkin, Italian pork, and stir-fried seafood. The beef appeared to be a bit dry but it's just because the part of the cow that's like this and when you bite it's actually really soft and easy to chew. Hello, welcome on board Cathay 777-300ER First Class Lavatory. There are two on board to share among the six first class passengers as well as cockpit crew. So very beautiful lavatory, we've got bright lighting, wooden cupboards. Um, down here we've got Bamford products including face mist, face cleanser and body lotion. Uh, the toilet space, you've got I think supposedly towels here, but they're not giving them out today. It's closed towels. Uh, so tissue only today. Coat hooks, two shiny ones.
On this flight to Hong Kong, they didn't load the usual first class mattress topper. There was also no quilt, just a blanket. This is a shame because on my flight over from Hong Kong to Sydney, we were given both, and the sleep was amazing. But I shouldn't complain because after all, we got upgraded to first class. and it was obviously in distress. Can you really not find me a vet in the hall of colder day? So you did it. Well, that was the plan. Did you attack me out of country? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, no, thank you. And yeah, go on, sugar. Two sugars. One sugar. Thank you. When it made this noise, it was... We've got about two hours and a half left into our flight to Hong Kong. The cabin is pitch dark, they're gonna start the dinner service soon. I just opened the window blind, you can't see nothing. Later we've got a second flight to catch, to Osaka Kansai, so I want to make sure I'm awake, so I got a long black. Green curry was good, but it wasn't the most amazing dish. I love the chips, it was crunchy. For dessert is a raspberry panna cotta. So on this eight and a half hour flight from Sydney to Hong Kong, we were given two big full meals. I was really impressed. The presentation for both meals were excellent. Importantly, the food quality and taste, 10 out of 10. You would notice that the first class cabin is really spacious, not just because it's in a 111 configuration, but also there's no overhead locker bins. So that's why there's a wardrobe at every seat. Please also check if you have all your personal belongings before leaving the aircraft. You 
runway now. Switch on your personal electronic devices to turn our functions. For passengers with connecting flights on Cafe Pacific, please reserve time for security checks and arrive at the boarding gate at least 30 minutes before departure of British Heart and Your Travel Plan. The connecting flight information is available from your personal TV or a grounds upon arrival. It's been our pleasure taking care of you today. Thank you for flying Cafe Pacific. Welcome to where I come from, Hong Kong. We're gonna be here for four hours. We will enter Hong Kong because I wanna drop off something for my sister to bring home. I don't wanna bring it to Japan. And then we'll re enter the airside. Please exit from the train. We've only got carry on. Our checked in luggage is going all the way to Osaka. It's actually mostly mum's stuff, her grocery from Woolies and Coles. Laughing out loud in Singapore Changi style. Hello, so now we're at the departure level. Uh, cafe check-in is just at uh, Isles B and C. So because we checked in all the way from Sydney to Osaka, we won't need to do anything here. We're just going to head straight to security and immigration now. I'm back at the cabana. Literally, if I can design my own bathroom, like, but first I need to have my own home, it'll look exactly like this. You can hang your clothes there and press the button. Someone's gonna iron it for you. She's so happy she got into the first class lounge. I hope she got to check out the cabana. We're now in the restaurant called The Haven. It's a la carte and buffet.
we sampled basically half of the a la carte menu. Since the Qantas first class lounge, it's our fourth meal, and later I'm gonna have my fifth meal on board the flight to Osaka. Here's the cheesecake they offer in the wing first class lounge. I prefer the one in the Qantas lounge. The lounge is really quiet, most of the European flights have already departed. Since the Ukraine and Russia war, Cathay flights to Europe now depart a few hours earlier due to the detour. So it doesn't clash with the Japan and Korean overnight flights, which means a quieter lounge experience. There's currently a typhoon or cyclone near Hong Kong, and we're really lucky that our flights aren't impacted. Some airlines have cancelled all their flights to Hong Kong. Here's our Airbus to Osaka Kansai, a six-year-old Cathay Pacific Airbus A350-900 Bravo Lima Romeo Oscar. Cathay A350 don't have first class, just economy, premium economy and business. At Hong Kong Airport, they do one wall emerald and first class boarding, even on aircraft without first class. You don't need your passport or boarding pass to board the plane. However, some airlines, including Qantas and Cathay, check your boarding pass once you step on board again. Welcome on board Cafe A350 Business. Business is in a one to one configuration. It's significantly narrower than first class, but still a lot wider and more spacious than economy down the back. On short haul flights, they do give you pillows and blankets, but they don't give you quilts in business. They're available on long haul flights. That being said, it's nice to have a long haul aircraft on a short haul flight. You get lots of storage compartments. Taiwan, there should be a couple of bumps again. 
nothing too serious. We'll obviously drive very best to avoid that. From then on, it should be nice and smooth. The weather in uh, Kansai itself uh, is going to be a temperature of about uh, 20 degrees and clear skies. Uh, very shortly, your in flight service manager in tow. On this A350, you've got live TV channels as well as external cameras. Due to the typhoon, the flight is really bumpy. For almost the first half of the flight, there was no service and seatbelt sign was on. And the annoying part was, I couldn't recline my seat, it was jammed. So I couldn't get the cabin crew to fix it until later during the flight. For those who don't want to eat, you can sleep right now. For those who want to eat, you'll have to wait for a while. Ta-da, the cabin crew fixed it. What I really like about Cathay A350 Reverse Herringbone, specifically Cathay A350, is that there's so much leg and feet space after you recline. So here is supper at 3am. It's a full meal and it looks really good. I'll go through them with you.
For an overnight flight for only 3 hours as well, I'm really really impressed by the portion size. And just like any other food I've had on this journey so far, the food slaps. The honey sauce on the pork, when you mix that with the rice, it was so good. On the short haul flight to Japan, they don't give you a mini ticket, so you gotta use the toothbrush and toothpaste that you got on your flight from Sydney, or bring your own. We started our descent into Osaka, Kansai, and I'll quickly conclude this trip port all the way from Sydney to Kansai right here, right now. We ate a lot today at the Qantas First Class Lounge, and then two meals on CX100 to Hong Kong, another meal at the Wing First Class Lounge, and then finally a supper on this flight to Kansai. So in total, five meals. All five meals were absolutely delicious, mouth-watering, well done Cafe and Qantas. Both the 777 First Class and the A350 Business are really comfortable products. Both got big TV screens, comfortable beds, although obviously bigger and wider on the 777, and plenty of storage compartments. The cabin crew on the first flight to Hong Kong weren't as proactive as the flight to Osaka and also my inbound flight from Hong Kong to Sydney. They were super busy and probably understaffed, so I completely understand. Nonetheless, they take all the boxes, service was amazing. Unfortunately, on this flight to Kansai, they ran out of the paper arrival cards for Japan. So you have the opportunity to do it online quickly before takeoff, or you'll need to fill out one when you get to Japan. When we landed into Osaka, the ground staff actually handed some arrival cards to the cabin crew to give it out as you disembark. You'll see that later. Overall, I had a very great journey all the way from Sydney to Hong Kong and Osaka. Loved it, 10 out of 10. Cafe have great deals, from Japan to Australia return in business class. It currently starts from $3,090 and that's thanks to the low Japanese yen. So that's it for the conclusion today, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment down below and share this video with your friends. And importantly, please subscribe if you haven't done so, it'll motivate me to do more videos like this one. I'll see you again next week when I upload, bye bye.
Please remain seated with the seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign has been turned off. Be careful when opening the back compartments as items inside may fall out. Please also check that you have all your personal belongings with you before leaving the aircraft. You may now switch on the personal electronic devices with cellular functions. It's been a pleasure taking care of you today. If Osaka is home, a very warm welcome home. Thank you for flying Cathay Pacific, a member of the Royal Alliance. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. A big shout out to all my patrons and PayPal me supporters for your support over the years. And again, please make sure that you subscribe and click the bell button so when I upload again next week, you won't miss out. Bye now.